Just like anything related to computer programming, JSON is a precise format. That means commas, curly braces, square brackets, colons, all that stuff has a purpose and it needs to be in the right place. Just one simple thing out of place could cause your behavior to not work. I don't want to scare you, but I want you to know that understanding the format and knowing how to edit the text effectively and being careful will help you be more successful. Let's talk about a couple of important tips. First of all, every opening needs a closing, just like a parentheses or quotes in when you're dealing with reading or math. Same thing here with JSON. So this open curly brace has a matching closing one. Since this is the first one, the matching one is going to be all the way at the end. So you'll see here at the end, see how it's highlighted in Visual Studio Code? Since I, I clicked on the first one, the last one was highlighted. So it's highlighting the matching curly braces for us. If I were to click on one of these square brackets, it would also highlight the closing square bracket. So anything that has an opening needs a closing. Same here with quotes. Quotes need to open and they need to close. Then there's things like separators, which are going to be your commas. A comma is used as a separator. Just like in the English language, you've got commas to separate a list of items. Think of all of these things as a list of items, and they need to have commas separating each specific one from each other. So the comma is important for separating your lists of items. And then you also have these uh, colons, which will separate the string from the value as well. So those separators are important. And these are all the things that the JSON format looks for when making sure that it's run correctly. So it's really useful to use your software tools to help you. So like just like I pointed out, we have useful tools here for detecting our opening and closing curly braces. So I'll click on this opening curly brace, and you can see that the matching one is over here. So you see this is all the contents of the Minecraft writable woolly object. The other cool thing about these tools is that they'll help you do some error correction. So notice if I remove this separator here, I start getting some errors here with the red underline. When I mouse over this error, it says colon expected. So that's pretty helpful. It's po pointing out that we were missing a colon there. If I remove this comma, this one gets highlighted as an error and says it expected a comma or a closing brace. So it doesn't know exactly what the problem is, but it makes a pretty good recommendation. So that's when you'll have to use your eye for detail to get in there and find out what was changed that needs to be corrected. So use your tools to help you and you'll be fine. If you have any questions along the way, don't forget, you can post your, your questions in the comments for the video that you're stuck on and we'll help you out.